Hey guys, it's Creating with Susan here with a card featuring the Toucan Do It stamp set from Catherine Pooler Design's latest release. I'm not a fan of birds in real life. They kind of freak me out actually, but I absolutely love this stamp set and I can't stop playing with it. I've made so many cards with it already. We're going to do some simple watercoloring on this card. I start with a piece of Catherine Pooler cardstock that I've cut to four and by five and a quarter inches. I know it's not watercolor paper, but we're not using a lot of water, so this paper will be fine. I start by stamping the sentiment. I use Catherine's Midnight Ink. It's great ink for watercoloring. And then position the birds around the sentiment. So, and you want to stamp them randomly in all positions, all directions. You want some going off the paper as well. You want it to appear as if you've cut this piece of paper from a larger piece of designer paper. Once you've done all the birds and you choose some of the smaller stamps that are on the same set and you can use those to fill in the empty spaces. To do the watercoloring, I smush some ink onto my clear block, add a little water and then using my water brush or aqua brush, um, I start the painting. So pick up a little bit of the ink on your brush, coloring in small sections. Be sure to do in small sections. And also be sure you have a cloth or a paper towel handy to dab up all the excess water. Um, that's key to this because you don't want the water to pool up on there. Once you finish one color, pick up your next color, work on your next section, and dab as you go, like making sure you're drawing all the time. Um, and you do this, just keep going till you get through all your colors. I'll leave you now to watch the coloring.
to do the background, I used Sandcastle over coffee and icing on the cake inks. Um, the Sandcastle is the lightest color and that's the one I started with. So I added that, you know, smushed some onto a block, added a bit of water, and then using the Acro brush, I filled in all the white space, um, dabbing as I go. So a little bit of ink, dab it, a little bit more ink, and keep going until you've filled it all in. So next I use the over coffee ink and same technique but this time I just go around the outer edges and also around all the edges of the stamped images this way and it's just a way to create some depth And the last color for the background is icing on the cake. That's the darkest one. And that's the one that you're gonna use the least of. So same technique again, but this time I really just go around the outer edges of the card, giving it a, like a frame so that you have a gradual color of the, the neutrals in the background out to the outer edge. So hope that makes sense. Hope the video will show it better. So. I finished the card by adding the panel to some black cardstock and then adding that to a card base. It's a very simple, almost one layer card. So thanks so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye now.